Good morning. Uh, it is Saturday, the 26th of, I don't know, is it still April? It is the Saturday morning following last night's monthly drunken Ask Us Anything. And I just have, I just have a lot on my mind this morning. First and foremost, I have to try to find the words to articulate how much all of you showing up and being present and being supportive and being welcoming and being honest and frank yourselves really, really means to me. It, it touches me in a way that I have a hard time putting into words. It's kind of why I stream. I stream because I want to have that interaction with people. I want to have those moments. I want to have that raw, here I am, here you are, we're all people um, moment. I, wa I want to have that all the time. I tend to focus on that through gaming and having fun and laughing with people. But at the end of the day, it's, it is about those connections for me. That's, that's why I stream. And the fact that that somehow resonates with you guys, especially when I'm just doing a just chatting stream, that means a lot. I really appreciate that. There are cats doing crazy things behind me. Um, so a huge thank you to everybody who shows up and just watches. Um, and a double thank you to those of you who then participate in those streams and who do have kind things to say to me and who just participate in the process. Let's get a look. Several of you said things last night that are echoing very much in my head right now. Um, I think a lot of it came from Rabid Mongoose. He's the name that really stands out in my head from last night. Not to say that other voices aren't in here as well, but his voice really stood out to me last night. Um, talking about things like his counterpoint to my argument of, I don't know what my voice as a streamer is, other than it's, it's me. I don't know that I have anything that is particularly unique that particularly stands out. I'm not, I'm not ninja who you watch because I'm super good at Fortnite. I'm not, um, oh, what was the guy? He was one of the first big Twitch guys. He's, he was the first person to do something frag. Um, he was like the first person to stream every day for a solid year. Um, I'm not that guy. I don't have my, my strength is not, in my consistency. My strength is not that I'm really good at this game or that game or this genre. My strength is not that I'm a character, like disrespect. Um, my strength is not anything other than I do this because I want to. And Rabbit offered a, an interesting counterpoint that my strength apparently, my voice apparently is that I'm genuine. That's something I'm trying to integrate and accept right now this morning. That's that's playing that 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 note is replaying in my head today. Um, and that's got me thinking a lot about the format of my streams, my schedule, or possibly other projects. That sounds alarming. I'm not looking to make a huge change here. But it's got me thinking, you know, I'm still going to stream four to five nights a week. It's going to be mostly gaming. That's not going to change. But it has me wondering that if my voice is Wolfstar being genuine ass Wolfstar, and if conclusively I pull in twice the audience size, a little more, uh, almost three times, actually three times. My audience was three times the usual size last night. If 
but opening the door and being sincere wolf stuff is a something i enjoy and it is and is b something that you guys want to see more of well then it seems like that's something i should look into there is a poll i put out on twitter um just a little while ago asking if just chatting is something i should do more of um and to be clear because <laughs> it's the comment that keeps coming up it's not going to be more drinking streams i have fun with that format i can't do that to my body i'm old i'm fat and i'm getting more old and more fat <laughs> Adding more alcohol to that mix is a straight up mistake. That's not, that's not a thing we're going to do. Let me explain some of my thinking as it relates to that poll. I think the four options are, you know, should I do this a little bit for every stream? Um, several streamers who I respect, Power Pig comes to mind, oftentimes start their streams with an hour, maybe more if it's a good conversation of just bullshit. Just turn on the camera, know that 20 or so people are going to show up and you're just going to talk about whatever. News of the day, um, gaming-centric news typically, but it touches on other topics. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe I should integrate that into some or most of my streams or a couple streams a week or whatever. The second option is should I do a once a week, just camera on stream like this? Um, off the top of my head, Sundays, Sunday afternoon, just turn on the camera and talk with whoever shows up. Uh, I would have to try to come up with a weekly topic to really make that successful, but I'm sure I can figure that out. Uh, the first month would be rough, but I think I'd find my rhythm after that. Um, should we just stick with what we've got? Is it, is it the rarity that once a month feeling that people look forward to and anticipate and does absence make their heart grow fonder should i keep it to once a month so that i'm not spreading myself too thin do you guys look forward to that once a month chat that you would not look forward to if it was weekly like oh i missed this week's i'll catch next week's or you know am i selling myself short by doing it more often or is that something you guys want to see more of would you tune in? But that should really be the framing of the question. You guys might want me to do daily just chatting streams, but would you tune in daily? Would you tune in weekly? Will you tune in monthly? Should I slow it down and make it quarterly? Um, I want to know where the balance is for you guys. Running with that concept, there's also the thought that I've been kicking around for a few years, but never really got traction on with anybody doing a podcast. There's a lot of ideas in my head that I would love to explore podcast wise. I think I do have a voice about games and the gaming community, um, streams and the streaming community, but I also am not afraid to share my political and societal views. Do I start a podcast? I've got at least two people who, as of last night, were very interested in that idea. Is that something that you would listen to? I, obviously, it has to be something that's compelling and it has to be the right combination of people and a topic you're interested in. And there's there's a lot more than that. But I guess the so I guess the better question there is is a podcast something you would check out from myself and two or three other voices on a regular basis? I have ideas. I've had ideas written down about a podcast for a while. Um, in my head, it's three regular hosts and a rotating seat for a smaller selection of rotating hosts. So it would be me... To, to go with the people who spoke up last night, it would be me, Ezva, and Mongoose as the regular hosts. And then on a rotating chair type type option, this week it would be, since she spoke up, this week it's Tammy Kitten. Next week it's Parallax Abstraction. Uh, the week after that we get 
power pig. Um, and we'd have a pool of three or four regulars to fill that rotating seat, but it also becomes the special guest seat if we score an interview somewhere. Is that something you guys would check out if we put that together? Because I'm ready to put that together. There was a lot said about my my being genuine. There's a lot said about, <laughs> again, going back to Rabbit Mongoose, his ideas for branding himself in our in our Darwin project days blew me away. And his voice and his voice quality um, also blows me away. So to have him turn around and say that he watched my streams and fucking studied his word. Sorry, Mongoose, if I'm over quoting you here that he studied my voice and the things I do to get there. Holy shit, somebody I look up to in this space was using my material to launch. Holy shit, I'm, I'm a little bit weepy right now, like with, holy fuck, really? And so in my mind right now are all these ideas about, I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely, a gamer. I'm definitely a game streamer. That's not going to change. But I'm wondering if the time is right and if the audience is right, that's you guys, for me to branch that out a little further. And because apparently what is appreciated about me is my genuine, sincere, vulnerable self, now the time for me to Ranch, should I lean into that more? Should I lean into genuine Wolfstar a little more? And what does that look like? And that's the question I have for you guys. I'm going to post this here in a little bit. It's going to be on YouTube. I'm going to link it to all the social medias. And I want to hear from you. I want to hear on my Discord. I want to hear on Twitter. I want to hear wherever you can reach me. What do you think? Is... Is genuine Wolfstar something you guys want more of? Um, not genuine Wolfstar, because that's apparently why a lot of you watch me. Is undistracted, unfiltered Wolfstar something you want more of? Because if it is, I'm very interested in doing that. If it's something that you like in the context of what I'm already doing, Maybe I shouldn't branch out in this direction. I mean, I should branch out in the direction anyway. I should try it. Who knows who I'll, who, who knows what audience I'll hit and who I'll find. But maybe it's, is it, is it an idea that excites you? Is unfiltered, undistracted wolf star something you want more of? And how does that look to you? Is it a YouTube series of videos like this with much higher production values and a less distracting background? Is it a podcast or is it just more of this on my stream? I'm ready to do this. I need you to tell me what you want to see or hear. That's really all I've got. I kind of needed to say all that out loud to work some of these ideas out of my head. And um, thanks for listening, guys. Be good to one another. But most importantly, always remember to be good to yourselves. Take care. Microphone check. Hello. Okay. Hi. Um, well, shouldn't keep that. Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, the word I want. Can't fucking think of words today. Maybe it's the alcohol. Um, my strength is not that I'm cute like a linity. I can't. That mess is killing me. Um, not enough to do anything about it, but it's killing me inside. <laughs> and the cats doing their thing is not helping. There they go. I know the cats are very distracting because I'm distracted by them. Sorry, guys. Um, could you, could you two kill each other somewhere else? No? Okay. Well, I asked. Um.
ähm, 